what's up you guys welcome back to my channel my name is coach Coco and I love volleyball so much so my channel is filled with tips tricks hacks and anything you could ever need to know about volleyball so today I want to kind of go back up and follow up with something that I made three years ago that I think still resonates really with right now let's get right into it questions recently on my TikTok about what to do if you feel like you want to quit the volleyball team. Quitting volleyball is something that has crossed my mind before and it crossed my mind because I didn't really know if I was in the right place. I didn't really know if it's something that I really wanted to do and I didn't really know if it's something that really stuck with me. I had a very unique volleyball story. If you've ever felt like you were in the wrong place at the wrong time and you felt like things were too difficult for you and you weren't getting it, this is for you. I want you to know that with anything in life, nothing is easy and if it were easy, everybody would be doing it. And I know that when you think about quitting something, if it's volleyball, art, music, something that you're really passionate about, it's really daunting because you feel like you're giving up on yourself and you're giving up and letting others around you down. But I don't want you to think about that right now. Your mental health is important and that means that anything that really causes you extreme amount of stress, anything that causes you to really feel bad or feel down, it's okay to talk about it and find somebody close to you to be able to talk about it. I think that is really, really important. Have I thought about quitting volleyball? Yes. I have come to that place many times. I, when I started playing, was a very comparison driven person. I would compare my skill level to my teammates. I would see if I were doing anything as good as them or if I wasn't as good as them. And I would make myself and work myself up so I would feel bad because I felt like I wasn't going good enough. And that was mainly because I was coming into a space where I hadn't played volleyball before and they were all so very talented. And I felt like I was the outlier. I was the odd man out. I felt kind of awkward. And because of that, it was a, a space that sometimes feels, felt really uncomfortable and felt like I didn't belong. But I stuck through. I stuck through because I had to remember why I started and I had to remember why it was important for me to play volleyball in the first place. I wanted to play volleyball not only because I wanted something to be social with other people, but I wanted an opportunity to really tap into something and learn something new. And I'm glad that I did. I'm glad that I took the time to really learn about myself. And I learned so much about myself in those years. Learn about myself, learn about skill, and really stick with something. Have you ever felt like you try different things, but you don't stick with it when it gets too hard? Yeah, I get that. But I had to really stick with something and I stuck with volleyball even though those times I wanted to quit because practice was really hard or I was exhausted or I was tired or I felt laughed at or things like that. Please don't quit. And what I'm saying is I saw this quote when I was driving by this high school one day on one of their little bulletin boards and it said one day your hardship will be your warm up. And ever since I saw that quote, it's on my bathroom mirror and I see, I see it every single day and I say, you know what, you're right. One day my hardship will be my warm up. And now the things that all the times that when I was practicing really, really hard and felt like I couldn't get this skill fast enough or I felt like the skill wasn't growing or I wasn't growing as a player, I look back on that now and I thank myself for pushing through because it made me the player who I am today. It gave me the opportunity to be who I am today. So when you think about quitting, I want you to think about how far you've come first. And a great way to reflect on that is to journal. One thing I like to do, what I do with all my players is goal set. So take some time to write down some of the goals that you have and date it. And whenever you feel like you want to quit or you feel like it's getting too hard or you feel like you want to give up, go back and review your goals and see how far you've come. You've worked really hard to be here. You've worked really hard to grow and you're gonna do great things. You're gonna do great things. Don't let yourself give up or feel like you're not good enough or feel like your coach doesn't think you're good enough or your players. Comparison is the thief of joy. If I could go back and tell myself something right now is, Coco, don't compare yourself to the other players. Don't do that because your journey and path is completely different than theirs. Completely different than theirs. 
everybody has a different path and by comparing myself to somebody else's path they're walking on their own journey I have to walk on mine so don't compare yourself to others either I know that this video is a really hard topic for a lot of you guys but I wanted to make it because I think it's really important to know that even when you want to quit don't give up don't give up okay I please like comment subscribe this video I hope that you like it and I will see you guys next time share this with somebody who needs it and if you've ever felt like quitting volleyball before tell me in the comments below all right see you guys next time